So I bought some Lutron digital LED dimmer switches and there's the model number MACL 153 MLH WH. That's the main uh, dimmer switch and this is a companion dimmer switch. This model number is MARHWH. Note that this guy does not work alone. It's kind of like a master slave type of a setup. They have a pretty nice diagram here. But I want my um, load to be coming out of the same box that my line power is coming into. So I figured I better draw that out. Yeah, that's what I got here. Um, basically, the only difference is I'm bringing, I'm taking the the output of this last switch, and I'm bringing it back into the first box. Um, I chose to to use the white wire as my communication wire. That's what this blue screw is a communication port, I guess you'd call it. So all you do is you hook each one of those together. So from the first switch, white wire, wire nutted with the uh, white wire that goes to the third switch. And I just have a pigtail just so that I have one connection to the blue screw. And then uh, um, coming out of this uh, last switch, note that the black wire gets wire nutted there and then there. And then it goes up, you know, wire nutted up to your light. These are just, these ovals are just representing a cable, right? So this is a, my power coming in is just a 12-2 cable. The, cable that goes up to the light is a 12 to the cable between the first switch and the second switch is a 12 3 and the cable between the second switch and the third switch is a 12 3 um yeah so this is kind of what it i just set up a little uh test here before i actually uh pull my cables just to make sure that this thing works the way I expect it to work. So there's my first, yeah, come on, focus. Okay, there's my first switch. That's the main, kind of like the master. And then these guys, there's my second switch. That's one of those <coughs> companion dimmers. And then there's the, there's the third one. And so basically, yeah, you just follow the, Follow the diagram. Notice that this is my 12-2. Uh, this is my power coming in. And, uh, you know, the neutrals get tied together. You know, this is the power coming in. This is the 12-2 that goes up to the lights. So those neutrals get tied together. Um, you know, the power goes to the black screw. Then I'm using the, the red conductor to go to my second switch it goes to the to the brass screw on the top there and then the bottom one that black screw using the red wire again comes out and it goes to the brass screw on that last switch and then from the last switch notice that I got the black wire coming out. It's going into that cable. Gets wire nutted to the black wire. That then goes back to your first switch. And then that guy is wire nutted to the black wire that goes up to your lights. So, and then there's, there's the white conductor that I'm using from the blue screw, the master switch. 
there again to the blue screw on the second switch notice again that I you know I've got the two white wires from that cable and from this cable wire nutted with a little pigtail that runs up to that blue screw and finally it goes to the blue screw on that last switch so so yeah that's that's what we have I'll turn the power on and make sure that this thing works one thing I should mention is kind of a disclaimer. Um, I'm not recommending that you know anybody wire uh, this these switches this way. This is just how I'm doing it. Um, I'm not saying it's the a correct way or the only way. Um, it's just how I'm gonna do it. So another thing that I'm gonna do before I turn the power back on is see the terminals there. I'm gonna take that uh, electrical tape and uh, tape over those screw terminals uh, just as a safety precaution. So here's a shot of the switches uh, with the terminals all taped up. Again, just as a safety precaution. I'm still gonna be careful not to get my hands anywhere near those screws. Um, definitely don't want to get a shock. So there's the last one all taped up. So should be should be good good to go. I'll go ahead and turn the power back on. Okay, I got the power turned on, and let's see if we can tap the first switch here. Yep the lights come on hopefully you can see that on the camera they um that the lights are coming on notice the led indicators on the left hand side of this main switch um you can see that the top led is lit meaning that it's at full power so if i hit the dimmer that will go down off dim back up that works one nice thing is you can let's see if you're dimmed you can double click this thing and it goes to, to full power that's kind of nice oh the looks like the first switch works good <coughs> let's go to the second switch here you have to be careful um Let's see if it goes off. Yep, lights go off. We'll toggle it again. Lights come on. Dim down. Go back up. I'll double click. Yep, it goes to full power. Let's see if the third switch works. So I hit it. Yep, lights go off. Hit it again. Lights go, come back on. Dim down, dim up. So it saves your your last dim setting when you shut it off. Some kind of mid midway right now. So I'll go ahead and shut it off from this third switch. So now the lights are off. So now when I turn them back on again, I'll turn them on from the second switch should go to the yeah to that same position so yeah everything seems to be working pretty good